Hey, what's up? Operation iDroid here, and in my hand I have an iPhone 5S that I just picked up at my local AT&T store. And might I say that it is quite amazing. I love how it looks. Looks just like the iPhone 5, which I never had. So it's something new to me. And as you can see, it's an iPhone 5S because I just unlocked it with the touch sensor, the fingerprint identifier. And I'm going to be showing you NDS for iOS on the iPhone 5S. NDS for iOS was developed by InfiniDev, a group of amazing developers that brought the Nintendo DS emulator to your iDevice without a jailbreak or with a jailbreak. So in this video, I'm going to be displaying two games, Pokemon Black and Pokemon Soul Silver, starting with Pokemon Black. Now these games run at 100% on the iPhone 5S, which is just amazing to believe that it runs at this speed with the new hardware on the iPhone 5S. So as you can see on the top right hand corner, that's where the frames per second are. 60 is basically running at full speed that is optimal and anything below that is good. Once you're over 30, then you're running at a decent frames per second, but you want to be at 60. So as you'll see in Pokemon Black, it'll fluctuate from 60 to 55. And that's actually not bad at all. It's almost at full speed and half of the time it is at full speed. It just depends on the situation you are in because in Pokemon, you're either walking outside, walking inside, or in a battle. And as you can see while you're walking outside, it mostly stays at 60 frames per second. And then now let's go over to a cutscene or an X transceiver um, conversation. So I'm going to fast forward to there. And when you're in a cutscene or X transceiver th uh, dialogue, then the frames still stay at around 60, sometimes dropping a little bit below to 57, 58. And you know, that's not bad at all because now it's at a different um, 3D rendering mode because you're in the X transceiver and then there's a different screen, so it's completely different layout. So that might cause the frames per second to change. And now another place where the frames per second does change is in battle. And usually in battle, the frames per second are significantly higher than any other place in the game. And as you can see, as I fast forward over to a battle that I did here on Pokemon Black, it runs at 60 frames per second at an amazing rate. So it is just incredible to have Pokemon Black, one of the latest Pokemon games, on your iDevice running basically phenomenal. Um, Pokemon X and Y are coming out. Unfortunately, that won't be able to get on your iDevice because it's a 3DS game. And now we're gonna gonna go over to Pokemon Soul Silver, and we can see how that runs on the NDS for iOS application. So something I want to speak of on the NDS for iOS application as Pokemon Soul Silver begins is that this is not the latest version of NDS for iOS. NDS for iOS is still in development. It's not complete because it hasn't been able to run in full speed until basically today when the iPhone 5S came out and I used it and it's basically running at full speed but there's still a lot more updates that can come to this and there's updates that I don't have on my iDevice. Being as you're restricted to getting apps such as emulators on your iDevice through the App Store it's hard to get it onto your iDevice um, without going through the App Store, so you have to get it over the air. So every time they update it, they're not going to update their over the air application until they get it perfect. So this is the imperfect NDS for iOS. It has not been perfected yet, but it has been updated. So on jailbroken devices, unfortunately, you can't jailbreak your iPhone 5S yet. The NDS for iOS application is completely different and runs much faster. So hopefully in the future we will see NDS for iOS um, being updated for over-the-air non-jailbroken iDevices. And it will run pretty smooth when it does because right now it's running perfect. We just need a little bit more feature. If you guys would like to learn how to do this, how to get NDS for iOS on your non-jailbroken device, then leave a like. If we get 100 likes, then I'll definitely be showing you a tutorial on how to do this on your own iDevice. So, make sure to subscribe so that you're notified when that video is released. Also, leave suggestions for games that you want me to play on NDS for iOS in the comment section below. Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.